Hey, how you doing? What is your name? What do you do? And what is your problem? Uh, my name is, well, I'm Dr. Amy Baker, and uh, my industry is relational leadership coaching. So I am a director of pharmacy and pharmacist turned coach, and um, specifically healthcare executives. I think okay. we could use some health, help in there. Um, and you asked me a problem. So my problem is part of a bigger mission. Um, my mission is to shift society's concept of health from symptom management to the foundational uh, nervous system health and resilience. And one lever in that I want to ask you for help with, because if anyone can do something audacious like this, it's you. <laughs> because you can get people to do just about anything. So that's like, the, the first thing I love, and I've got to congratulate you, is the fact that you're going for a massive goal. Yes. I am always stunned when people go, so what's your goal? And they go, oh, to make a million dollars or to do this. If, I, if someone asks for a goal, that is when you stupefy it. You're kind of like, what is the most ridiculous thing? That I want to shift the planet's idea of a that's a goal so yeah. well done for having a ridiculous goal that's yeah, what i love so i like i like ridiculous stupid goals but a friend of mine uh um naveen jan said to me that if you want to make a billion dollars mm -hmm. solve a billion people's problems so when you knock it down into that you start by solving one purpose person's problem. So let's break your goal down. Okay. What is the fundamental of the objective? And then who do we need to introduce to that objective to get them cured? So you just, that's such a great question because here's my problem. So I have several levers to move okay. this. And I think you just named one of the first things, maybe. So, one thing I want to do is get nervous system health leaders in all aspects of health in the U.S. in the room for two to three days to write a manifesto for health. So, you know, I've been researching who those people are, but how do I get them in the room to write this manifesto? Because um, they're all doing the work. I don't have to become the expert. They're, they're doing it, but they're like siloed. Right. I'm quiet here because are you aware of how wrong your question is? How wrong it is? Mm hmm Think about your question. What was what was your question? I can repeat how, it if it'd be easier for you. How do I get them in the room? How do I get them in the room? Okay. Whose problem is that question to? You. you mean it's, yeah. How do mm. I, it's your problem. How do I get these people in the room? Okay. Let's try and change the question. Great. How do we get these people to want to be in the room? Yeah. Okay. You've, you've just changed this. Like when people, you know, are raising money, raising investment, raising sponsorships, trying to get in a business with people. It's all about the I, 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 I. Well, let's focus on what needs to happen for them to want to get into the room. Okay. So ask yourself that question. If we want these people, and you know who these people are, correct? Most of them. I'm still researching some of them. Yeah. How many of them are there? There's probably going to be about 25 total. And obviously not all are going to accept. All so right. I'm, I'm looking for like 15 to 17. In the and are these high profile people oh yeah <laughs> right, okay so the best the of the best only <laughs> okay so the the downside with the best of the best and high profile people is that they're now at risk of use losing the one thing that they worked their life to get and that's credibility okay you could have a fantastic idea but if I say, hey, I've got this great idea and all I need is uh, Richard Branson, Jean-Paul de Jaurier, uh, Jeff Bezos, and Elon Musk to come in the room to make this work. Okay? Now, my, my idea may be absolutely fantastic, but why should they care? And why should they care about my goal? And also, 
am I the only person to have thought about it? No, so, in fact, it's actually some of them have said it's their vision, but okay. until they all get together in the room, it's it's only going to happen in pockets, and I want it to happen. All right, now it's small hinges that move big doors. Right. So you only need let let me let me put it this way: if you were running an investment and I got you, I don't know, uh, Warren Buffett to invest in your company. Do you need anybody else to add credibility to your deal? You know, yeah. if you're doing a project and you had Elon Musk back you on your project, do you need anybody else? No. Mm. So it's small hinges that act as massive leverage. So what we want to do is we want to find out who are those hinges. Yeah. Now, I I know when I, and I've worked in Hollywood for, for it seems like way too long. You know, you, you throw a party – and you invite a celebrity, and the first thing the celebrity says is, who else is going? Now, if your next answer is, well, it was the guy that was knocked off of Big Brother on first series, then the celebrity's going to like, no, I'm not hanging out with him. But if your answer, well, it's Al Pacino and Clint Eastwood, I'm there. You know, right. so they, they act as the hinges for the attraction. So you want to ask yourself, if you've got 15 to 25 people, who are those hinges? Mm -hmm. And you've got to now, and this is going to take some balls, but I know you, you've it's got okay. those. You've now got to call them out on that vision. You see, don't tell me you've got a vision. And when I give you the opportunity to actually manifest that vision in reality, you bail. Now you're actually calling them out. Okay. So you can actually go forward now. You've got to think about the, the, the details here. Are they high profile where security may be an issue? Are they high profile where politics and funding may be an issue? You know, will what they do interrupt that potential career or will it advance it? So I think it will advance it because I'm just asking them to write a manifesto. I'm not even asking them to form another group or organization or any of that. I just... I got this from the Agile Manifesto for software where they're like, this, this sucks. And I don't need to go into that whole backstory, but I just want them to write the manifesto and then start talking about it. So in effect, they've already stated that they want to do what you're asking them to do. <laughs> yes, in a sense. So, right. So what are you if nothing than a conduit? Okay. You're not looking for any high profile out of this. You're not looking at this to be the, the Dr. A Amy Baker, you know, foundation yeah. or ruling or anything like that. You're just asking them to come true on that vision. So now when you confront these people, mm -hmm. look at the hinges and okay. contact all of them and go, hey, I've been reading about your vision. Excellent vision. What do we need to do to get you in a room with other people to share the same vision in order to put this into action? And ask them to tell you what they need you to do. Now, some of those people are going to say no, okay? Yeah. But as we always know, you know, a no's not going to kill you, and yeah. you can't get a yes until you ask the question. Right. Now, have you asked these people to actually get into a room together? No, not yet. All right, so there's, there's, there's the first thing, all right? Yes. <laughs> okay, so the first thing you've got to do is you've got to ask. But you look at these people, and you've always got to think about it. You know what you want. You want this vision to come true, okay? Yeah. So you know what's in it for you, whether it be, you know, feeling good, whether it be monetary, whatever someone's goal is, that's their goal. What you've got to do is you've got to converse in their head. So you've got to think to myself, okay, I'm going to reach out to Dr. Steve Sims, and I'm going to invite him. He's already made a statement regarding this. Clock that statement. You know, cut it out, record it, refer to the fact that you said this in 1912, whatever, but make it prominent. Bring it to the because no one wants to be embarrassed. Okay? Yeah. No one wants to be called out, especially people in the science and medical industry. Yeah. 
<laughs> if you've got that nutted down and go, hey, Dr. Steve Sims, I saw that you spoke in the medical journal in January 2020 regarding this manifesto that you wanted to be putting together, I wanted to ask you directly, what has to happen in order for me to help get you in a room with other people to share this vision? Mm. And if it was a vision of yours, what do we need to do to get it accelerated and to take action on it? It's a double call out. Hey, if it's not really your vision, then hey, but if it is your vision, what do we need to do? Now, if they come back and go, no, thank you. Mm -hmm. Rude. They're not <laughs> only rude, they're ignorant, and they're also lying. Because, well, you, you say no, thank you. It seemed to be important when you were getting the praise in 2020 in a medical journal. <laughs> so, so you've now got to, you've got to be prepared. If this is important to you for them to achieve, and that's yeah. what I like, it's not about you. You're mm -hmm. the conduit. You're the lease space. You're the, you're the furniture for these people to make action. Okay. Yeah. You just want to help be in the ignition to getting it going. So I would get those 25 people and I would split it into like three groups and I would hit the first, the first group. And I'd be like, Hey, based on the conversation you had X, Y, Z, I saw this vision you wanted to create. I too share that vision. I wanted to ask you two questions. You know, what do we need to do in order for this vision to be completed? And two, what do I need to do to help get you in the room with other people to help put this vision in first step? And you ask those two, never ask any more than two questions on any email ever. But, yeah. you know, reach out to those people. See if you can get people, because you may, you may strike a chord, usually with a lower level of those dignitaries going, well, who else has responded? Right. You know, <laughs> of which you can respond with other people that share the same goal and vision with you and all of peer status. And, and just try and get those hinges. You may be lucky enough to get one of those that actually says, good, but time. Okay, so how do, how do we make time? Is this not worth spending time on? <laughs> Well, yeah. but travel, don't worry about travel. I'll do it in your backyard. I'll right. find an area for you that benefits you. I'm not asking you to do anything right. other than start working towards the vision that you said was important. Nice. So your, your, your systems, okay? Now, mm -hmm. there's a... I'm not calling you out here, Amy, but there's a high probability life's going to get in the way and this is going to be something we're still going to be discussing in six months because life oh, yeah. has a way of doing that, okay? But we only need you to do two things. Segment that list that you've already got mm -hmm. and send them an email. And what I would do is I would send them an email and I would also send them a letter. And the email that you type up Print that off and sign it, and that's your letter. So it's not like double work. So yeah. just send them the letter and send them the email. And I may even go as far as to say send them the letter first because then you can adjust the email and say, you may be receiving an email, a letter from me because I wanted to find any best way I could contact you. <laughs> and ask them. But I would definitely construct a letter the first of all calls out their dream, stating yeah. the date and the location they said it was important, and then hit them with those two questions. And it's ballsy because anytime you get anyone that you're asking, and it's worse now, we're in a gotcha society where people are being called out for what they wore at a fancy dress party 18 years ago. Okay? So we're in that kind of society where people are really careful about aligning themselves with anything for fear that it's going to pop up as a soundbite in 2030. Mm. Yeah. But that doesn't matter if they've already called it out in something that they've stated. So if you've got them already saying, hey, this is my vision, uh -huh. damage is done, whether you help that or, or, or don't help it, and it comes to be a bad thing, they've already called it out. Yeah.
but you've got to be prepared to kind of like start poking the bear. Yeah, and some of them, it's not part of their vision, but I want them in there. So that will be the other part is... Fine. Yeah. Fine, like, then it may have a stand. Are these political people you're going for or just uh, uh, medical medical science? Um, medical and science and potentially influencers um, like Brene Brown. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, you, uh, yeah, and then I do want to call out on the, the cancer moonshot, so there might potentially be someone I would reach out to and say, if you can't be in the room, who should be in the room? Yeah, there's a lot... <laughs> And this is terrible, but the other week we had yet another shooting at school. And these happen too frequently that we don't even bat an eyelid now. We feel terrible about it, but we're kind of like looking at our watch until we, when's the next one going to be? Yeah. Um, and Matthew McConaughey got up and spoke on it. And it's a shame that it takes a Hollywood actor to stand up to pay attention to it. Now, there were two school shootings at the time. One of them didn't make air time. The other, well, apart from the shooting, but you saw no reports on it. But, hey, Matthew McConaughey stands up with a player converse with a little heart on the toe. It's on the news everywhere. Yeah. So, sadly, we focus on things that entertain us, even when it's in a bad way. So, yes, you've got your medicals, but also look for those people that could add some weight and power behind it as well. Yeah. And you're I mean, correct, like, the influencers. Yeah, like as far as thinking Brene Brown or someone. But, exactly. Because she has a similar message ish. Yeah. Ish. Um, but yeah, this is a great reason to do this nervous system regulation because um, that's one reason that people go haywire and shoot people is they're completely dysregulated and unresolved trauma. And, like if, it, if now is the time, <laughs> it's just beyond time, but. Well, there, there you go. You know, when's the best time to plant a oak tree a hundred years ago and today? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, now is the time. Let's, let's not wait. Why do we need to be waiting on something that needs to be actioned yesterday? Right. So as I say, I know you're strong, but you're really going to have to call, call people out. If this is a vision that you mean, and wasn't just good PR at the time, then what needs to happen? And that's poking the bear. People are oh, I don't like that tone of voice. I need that tone of voice. Because without that tone of voice, we'll be talking about this again next year. In fact, you can even go, oh, by the way, three years ago you mentioned that. How are you doing? I've got one part of a book in mind already. Yeah. All Excellent. right. Oh, I've been reading perfect. their books, so. So you reckon you can get them as well? They're, they're going to have to be in the room. These people right. I'm speaking and thinking of. Um, so what is your time frame? Yeah, I guess that's a good question. I haven't have a time frame yet, so. Um, things don't get things don't get done unless there's there's a time frame. I know. I'm now you, how many of the how many of the twenty five people do you already know who they are? Um, I don't have my list in front of me, but probably fifteen. Right, so you only need to come up with the other ten. Yeah, and then all you have to do is write up the letter. And let's be serious; the letter's going to be pretty much the same for every single one of them, other than the little change of when they called out that this was important to them. So, doing fifteen letters, signing them, and sending fifteen emails, or sending fifteen messages via social or any other way. That ain't going to take five minutes. So what's your, what's your call-out time frame? If I said to you that you were going to have this done by the end, by the middle of August. I was just going to say August 15th. <laughs> You're reading my mind or I was reading yours. I'm not sure which. <laughs> so you, you heard it here, folks. So on the 15th of August, we're going to have Dr. Amy go into the Speakeasy Facebook group and the Entrepreneur's Advantage oh. Facebook group and declare... The, f the 25 people that she actually can't reach out to and sent this letter to, because you never know if someone of our group actually knows someone on that list. That's true. You know, I'm, I'm amazed at some of the people that I, I know and bump into, or I'm one degree away. You may go, oh, what about, oh, well, funny enough, I, I, I played shuttlecock with him or, you know, whatever, you know. You just yeah. never know. So... 
the 15th of August. Are you going to stand up for that uh, for that time frame? Yes. All right. You hold Anything my feet else? to the fire. Thank you. <laughs> good, good, good. Anything else you need from us? No, super helpful. I really appreciate it. So, 15th of August, we'll see all 25 names, and that'll be confirmation that you've emailed them and wrote them a letter, and then we can follow up another month later to find out if they've responded. And if not, the people in the two Facebook groups, maybe they can start poking them from different social directions. Perfect. Amy, thank you very much for being a, a, one of the, the speakeasy family and doing this YouTube yeah. uh, training. I hope it helps other people. But here's the, here's the big thing to this. Until you ask, the answer's always going to be no. Yep. All right. Got it. Well, I'm glad you're part of the family. Look after yourself, Me Amy, too. and I'll see you the next speakeasy. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hey, this is Steve Sims, and I hope you liked that episode of Being Coached by Steve Sims. Subscribe over here, watch some other cool videos over here, or for your chance to be coached by me for the YouTube series, join here at simsdistillery.com.